Slob Defense, Modern Line, 3, NF64.QC2G6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the Slav defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. qc2 develops the queen and protects the c4 pawn. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. A solid choice. It is excellent. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that gaining a knight is possible. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a miss. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This wins a knight's tempo while also developing a piece. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Although black lost their advantage, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. 
The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This ignores a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. This poses a material threat. It falls flat. This prevents the adversary from gaining an advantage. It is ideal. Although the game was nearly tied, black is now in a losing position. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a blunder. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. It is incorrect. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. Black still holds the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. This is winning stuff. It is a wise decision. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. White is losing because the end game has begun. It is ideal. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is best. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This is how you take the pawn. It is quite good. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. Thus, a bishop is won. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. This creates a threat to win a bishop. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. 
that game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Although White played a great end game, Black did even better.